nieces and nephews, it is your Uncle Indy here and we are back. Yes we are and we are still playing Golf Story. We're going to come and see this little Jeremy Beadle with his little hand there. Um, if you don't get the reference, Google Jeremy Beadle and his hand. Um, and we're going to go kill some mole rats. Um, so let's do that. Guys, remember to like and subscribe to Uncle Indy. Were you followed? No. But a mole rat may have been listening into our conversation. I figured as much. Quick, give me your golf balls. Pull down your trousers. I've installed trackers in all of the balls. Take them out and hit them to the mole rats who will no doubt steal them. Then we'll track them to their lair. I'm certain we'll find something sinister there. There are five mole rats on the driving range we can track. And there are a few on the second hole. You can get there by taking the path west of the clubhouse. I'll do it right away. Let's do it. West of the clubhouse. So let's go to the clubhouse. Uh, did you hear that? Uh, I don't know what that was. To the path west of the clubhouse, which is here. Hole two. Where's hole two? Is this hole two? Or is hole two down here? Hmm? It's hole two down here? I don't know where am I supposed to be here? I don't know. Ah, there's one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is rough, so it should stick. Yeah? Are we thinking the same thing? Straight to him! Spy balls planted. Right, we need some more. Where are they? Ah, there they are. Here's one little guy. Hit it right on his nut. Perfect. Good stuff. So we need to get 10 mole rats, it looks like. Which is so much fun. We're going to bounce this one into the circle. Just like that. Don't hit it to where you want it to go. Hit it before and it will bounce to where you want it to go. Yes. Hmm. This one, though. Maybe I want to hit it about here. And let that bounce in, maybe. What do we think? Is that going to be good enough? Or oh, might go out the other side. Oh, just. Just, 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 just. Okay, so I think there's going to be five here and then five on the old... On uh, the other one, isn't there? Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to drive far enough. We're going to need to whack some top spin on this one. Oh, God. Definitely fucked that. Oh, yes, he did it. Good, 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 good. Cool. So that's all of those. What does this guy want? You have to look at somebody who knows business from the mole rats here. I'll wait until you're done before I offer you this challenge. I don't want you to be distracted. You have to look at somebody who has business with the mole rats. Oh, okay. So he wants me to do them all. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll see you later. Maybe I won't. So what's he going to give me? Five dollars? But I might need that later for buying more fucking frisbees or whatever. And the next lot was on the driving range, right? So let's go there. Here we are. Play with your balls. Right. Where are we at? Okay. Where are they? There's one. Right. I'm going to do a cheeky little bit of underspin to make sure that it lands in the circle. Or as close to the circle as I can get it. There we go. Cute little squeaky guy. I don't want these guys to die. Maybe I should stop this.
Nah, because we want to progress. Stay in the circle. Thank you very much. Why is there a washing machine in the middle of the golf course? Maybe that's where the rats do their laundry. Maybe. I mean, it's not inconceivable. Is it? Stay in the circle. Thank you very much. These look like comic relief uh, rats, mole rats, with their cheeky little red noses. Let's do that. Get a bit of spin on it, why not? Ah, I overcooked it. Didn't learn my own lesson, did I? Did not learn my own lesson. Hit before so it bounces in. Just like that. I feel like maybe if you hit the balls into the washing machines, you get some sort of prize or something? Maybe? Because there's quite a few washing machines. Where's the other rat guy? Maybe he's closer than... There he is! There he is! The little cheeky fella. And we're going to do a little bit of precision mode here, I think. Try and get it on that bit of rough there. There we go. Beautiful. We're all good, so let's go back to the guy. The uh, Jeremy Beadle. Let's go back to him. And his red bandana, which hopefully we can steal at some point. Maybe off his dead body when this whole plan with the moles has gone wrong and he blows his head off. Finish handing out the spy balls and I guess it's time to head out. For what? Reconnaissance. This is where the tracking signal leads to. Oh Jesus Christ, they're a cult. Oh my fucking god. This game has taken a different turn. Bring me the eyes, my scandalous miscreants. If you're going to keep talking like that, I'm going home. Fine. I think we've got enough now. Is this like the, what are they called? Jesse and James? That is literally who this is. Let's start bringing out our undead armies to life. Rise! I mean, sure, dude, let's do it. Wait a minute. These are just golf balls. You were supposed to bring us eyes. You stupid bitch. Our minions can't see without eyes. Don't get so worked up. It's embarrassing. Figures. It would be something like this. Does it? Yeah, it does it really? They've got those mole rats under mind control. We need to put a stop to it before it gets out of hand. It may already be out of hand. I think we need to call fucking Ghostbusters. Take aim at their minions with your golf balls. Not great out of the mud. Should we wait for the stop raining? No. Time. We need to act now. I have an idea. Attention, well worn base. Requesting emergency intervention 200 yards north of the 5th. Send replenishments. Now we just wait. Oh, it's the... The woman who sells the stuff. Sorry it took me so long to find the place, boys. I don't need you to come out this far. So what can I get you? Can I have a sausage roll? Mmm. There's no time. An undead army is encroaching on the well-worn shore. Don't have enough pies for that. <laughs> You're not here to sell food. We need your help to defeat the undead army, of course. But what are we going to do? I have a plan. But the marshal can never hear of this. Oh, he's going to stand on top of the... I see. Let's kill some of these little fucks. Poor skeletons, it's not their fault. 
Sorry, guys. Oh, God, he exploded. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. This fella right in the right in the rib cage there. Look, or right in the nut. Here we go. Bosh. Oh, damn. Surely these guys would be acting now, being like, God, they're attacking our skeletons. Let's run. But no, they're just standing there. For some reason. Which is kind of weird. Don't you think? Let's hit this guy. Bang on. Yay! Here we go. See if I can rebound off this guy onto this guy. That'd be good. Ah, shit. Fucked it. Right in the face. That skelly bob. Well, hey, we just we defeated the necromancers, who randomly came up in this cute little golf game. An onslaught of golf balls has felled our army. My power is fading. We spent so long getting those minions ready. Yeah, not cool, dude. Come on. Let's do something else before we turn into boring golfers. Oh no, they're here. Why are the mole rats following us now? They're gonna say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Golfer. Thank you for saving us. For years we've been under the control of the necromancer. And now they have accepted the Greenkeeper as their new leader. If you don't want to tell me what really happened, it's fine. So what are we doing today? Actually, I'll be busy with personal matters today. Oh, what will I do then? Should I go to the range to see how far I can hit? Actually, I have some more focus training prepared. Go log on to the computer in the clubhouse. I've left a video open for you to watch. That sounds boring. I want you to study it closely. I can learn golf on the computer? Haven't you heard of YouTube, you fuck? Technology has made some advances since I was a child, it seems. I thought he was a child. I just assumed this guy was a child. I don't know why. Watch and listen to the video. Ah, oh, here's my rival. So he thinks he can just... Up and steal my coach with no consequence, hey? Well then, we shall see about that. Let's see what this guy wants. See you on that boat over there. We can use it to hit the island in the middle. Wanna give it a go? Yes. Watch out, it's real windy out there. Oh, okay. God, it's really windy. So I'm probably gonna wanna hit it way over here, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's try. Let's see. Is that going to be overhit now? Oh, it's gone in the hole! Okay, the wind is that way. So I want to hit it sort of over here, I think. Hmm. Maybe not so. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. I haven't really had to deal with wind yet. Oh! Yes! So the wind is going that way, so I probably want to come this way a little bit. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! It was nearly... Uh oh, no. So I want to come this way a bit because the wind's going that way. I think I want to hit it about there. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. That's pretty good. Well, hey, thank you very much. Fucking back to the future. I knew the swan boat would help. 
Doesn't he look like Marty McFly a little bit? I could be wrong. So I need to complete these little quests so I get more uh, XP, I think. I need to make more of an effort. Like this guy here. But maybe I want to crack on with the story a bit more. Um, go to the computer. Nah, fuck the computer. Let's talk to this guy. Yes! Call this one the Green Keeper's Woe or Broken Links. Okay. Okay. Let's go here, I think. I'm gonna hit it about here, I think. That's probably a bad idea because it's gonna shoot right off the other side. Actually, it was okay. Shots taken, one of 12. Not too bad. There's a cheeky bit of slope that way, so I think I'm gonna hit it about there. Slope flat, it says. Oh. There we go. This one's not so straightforward. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So maybe if I hit it... Maybe if I hit it over here first? In, in here, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Bang. In the bunker. That's okay though, because now we just need to head straight up. Straight to there. And let's give it a cheeky bit of... Cheeky bit of... Like, drive. Whatever that's called. Here we go. Forward you go. Beautiful. a guy to the left there with the top of his head cut off. Maybe like that. Oh yeah, because of the slope. Fucked it. Hope the greenkeeper doesn't miss these tea markers. God, these are really difficult holes. Okay, no, well that's pretty good. So if I can get it in there, there's a cheeky bit of wind going left. So if I do it about there... Ooh. Might have fucked that one a little bit. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Not too bad. Let's see if we can do a cheeky little chip in. Um, let's see. Maybe to about there. Something like that. Well, hey! This is the perfect finish. Good, because I was getting bored of your course. Ah, now what's the best way to play this one, guys? We know it's best to try and chip your way in. So, maybe let's try and hit it here and then chip our way over. Maybe. I think. God, I nearly got it in that hole. Green. And then if we go, oh, then if we go like that, maybe it'll just go in. Maybe. Hmm. And then let's get a little bit of underneath, underneath us, like that. Let's try it. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. Could have been straight in the water. Let's try and putt it. So there, but then a little bit more because it's in rough. Oh, God. Okay, so it's here, but we're on a slope. So there. Yes. Success. More points, please. What an experience. To see my work through the eyes of another was truly exhilarating. I always knew it was meant for greater things. I'm going to spread my work far and wide. Here's your winnings. The first is quite... Oh, it's actually quite good. I think I'll head out to Lurker Valley and build a course there. Ah, so I can follow this fuck around and do his crazy little golf courses. 
because he's got nothing to better to do with his life. Um, let's go to the computer. Let's have a look at Chubbs' pawn. Alright, let's see if I can get logged in. Ah, here we go. Let's see what this video business is all about. Oh, here we go. Game Boy. Sorry about the video quality. Today we'll be talking shot height. By aiming higher or lower on the ball, you can change the trajectory of your shot. Heading towards the one of the ball will send the ball higher. Yeah, we've kind of been figuring this out along the way. This can be useful for hitting over trees or stopping the ball faster. Yes. However, a high shot is more susceptible to strong winds. Oh, we didn't know that. So that's good to know. Oh, she's good. Hitting towards the top keeps the ball lower. A lower trajectory means the ball will roll further, so use it to your advantage. Oh god, it's her. Did you really fall asleep watching the video on the computer? God, we weren't even 30 seconds in. He's fallen asleep. The greenkeeper is looking for you. He's got some crazy new plan or something. Hope you don't take him seriously. What are you watching on there anyway? Um, really? Let me take a look. Go on then. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a cutscene still. But it's not. Let's go see the greenkeeper. Maybe he's gonna do something absolutely mental. I'm telling you, he's gonna lose a limb, this guy. Is he in here? He must be right. There he is. Oh, crazy hand. Finally, you're back. We've been thinking about our grass problem. I figure the grass at Cheeky Peak Peak is simply magnificent. So we'll need to do the uh, is following their example. So we should go to So all we have to do is entice a member to come here. Then I'll quiz them thoroughly about the course. Get them to describe the terrain down to the very last detail. Why don't we just go to the course and inspect it ourselves? Are you crazy? They don't allow rival greenkeepers anywhere near that place. How would they know you're a greenkeeper? Of course. We will go to the course under the guise of playing golf. I will pose as your caddy and investigate while we are there. It's perfect. Yes. Meet me there immediately. Okay. Let's go to Cheeky Beak Peak. I like saying that, Cheeky Beak Peak. Let's go to Cheeky Big Peak. Have a great time with the birdies. That was the one down here, wasn't it? Cheeky Big Peak. Oh god, there's another fucking look. No. No. Not interested. Oh. Beautiful music. Here at Cheeky Beak Peak. Mmm. Beautiful characters. Beautiful landscapes. Lovely wildlife. Enjoy Cheeky Beak Peak. Only at the south of the island. Beautiful. Oh, lovely green grass. Here's Princess Zelda. That look. You look like a go getter. Would that be right? Yes, prove it. Go get his chip with their five iron. Ooh, do they? Tempting to play the wedge every time. However, if you use your five iron, you can make a run at the hole. Onlookers will surely be impressed. Make sure you hold ZR and ZL for approach shots. Yes. That's exactly what I was planning on doing. Let's give it a cheeky go. Is that what you mean? What we want to do is have a cheeky, cheeky one of them, don't we? There we go. Yay! Harry's hit six out of nine? What? Oh, yeah. 
Beautiful. Chip and run. Chip and dale. Chip and dip. Fish and chip. Hmm. Oh, hello. Here we go. Don't really know what the difference between these is. If I hold the left shoulder, it does that. If I hold the right shoulder, it does that. It makes it longer for some reason. I'm not going to complain. Let's just see what happens. Ah, shit. Fucked it. Doesn't matter. We've hit the target anyway. Let's try that. Ah, oh, shit. And run it in. Beautiful. Success for Princess Zelda. See? Being a go-getter pays off every time. Now show us your link. Thanks very much. I'll see you later, I guess. Look at these beautiful mountains, this beautiful course. Here's another princess. Princess Daisy. We're just learning how to shape our shots here. You press X or something. Shaping shots is rad. Interested? It's pretty rad. Yes, let's have a look. Okay, so you have to try and hit around this tree. If you can land on the green, you'll get a point. You also land in the marker. That would be pretty rad. So you, you ha can have an extra point for that. Okay, it's worth two points. Brilliant. Fine, you can have two. Okay. So this comes from the cheeky little... Okay, so that's hidden the tree. But this is going around. So let's try that and let's get a bit of pre precision mode on there as well. So we're not hitting it too hard. Around the trees. And... We're not learning our lesson. We're not learning our lesson. Are we? try you know we're learning this is a four iron so we probably want to bring it back to about here I think maybe but I don't know because I know nothing about this game even though I've been playing it for a while now do you see do you see I'm still shit at it Let's try this. Well, that went pretty well, didn't it? There we go. Cheeky bit of spin on it. Cheeky bit of spin on it. But then we want to get precision. Maybe to about there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on half the time. Oh, there's another greenskeeper. Is that the is that the greenskeeper guy? Oh. Gotta hit it down the mountain. Final hit. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, there's some sort of hippie bug eye guy. Um, no, I want to do precision mode. Precision mode. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, it went in. Success! Points, please! That was pretty rad. Thanks, guys. Well, hey. Level up! Two of them, two of them, one of them. Not really a lot of thought goes into me doing those. 
Here's a greenkeeper. It's going according to plan so far. Nobody knows I'm a greenkeeper. Are you sure? You bought several wheelbarrows. Yes, well. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Take a look over there. It's full of weeds. Cheeky beak birds. They seem to be uh, in a fur? Fur? At the moment. I don't know what that means. Cheeky beak birds are known to steal balls, but they aren't usually this brazen about it. It's creating the perfect distraction. You head inside and book our round. I may be able to fool these people, but I'm known to the marshal. Okay, 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 okay. Well, let me find the, the pro shop, I guess. Where is it? Is this it here? Let's go inside. Da -da -da. Precision irons. 155. Ooh, what have we got so far? What have we got? We've already got some irons. I'm oversized irons. Mm, plus 10 yards, reduce miss penalty. What did these do? Plus 5 yards, hit straighter. Hmm. No, I like what we've got. Um, so this is Cheeky Beak Peak, and I think we're going to end the episode there as we're dragging on a little bit. But we're finally at Cheeky Beak Peak. This is our third course, and we will be... Um, figuring out about grass i guess in the next episode i think that's that's the you know it's not a very exciting game when you're you know learning about grass but i suppose we did kill some skeletons so it has its ups and downs doesn't it <laughs> anyway this is your uncle indy i hope you've enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe uh, and turn on notifications if you uh, really enjoy my indie game content and uh, tell a friend, tell a friend about Uncle Indy if you think they will enjoy me too. Um, I'd love to spread the word about my channel. Um, I'm chasing that uh, 100 subscribers. That is my goal. So if I can get that, I'll be a very happy uncle. But uh, until next time, for more Golf Story, this is your Uncle Indy. I'll see you next time.